Thank you very much, Chair, and to you, Mr. Kovac. With all due respect, you are very welcome to this committee and to the European Parliament. I would simply like to remind you on Article 2 of the treaties. The treaties, there are, there are a golden star to you and to us. You should really think of the way that you are addressing us, the elected members of the European Parliament in this committee, when you are characterizing the European Parliament and this committee as a soap opera. It is unacceptable. Secondly, and secondly, do you really want the European Parliament to give up us upholding human rights? Isn't it difficult finding yourself in a conspiracy in Hungary jointly run by the European Court of Justice, the European Parliament, the European Commission, the Council of Europe, the Venice Commission? Tell us now the truth in this setting. Are we all, all liars to you? Or isn't there a slight, slight element of truth in all this? It would be fair of you to just give us your explanation on the substance. There must be some element of truth in the criticism jointly by all these European organizations. On the shelters for homelessness and homeless people, I do recognize that with, with full respect, and I, I really appreciate that the Hungarian government did do all this for the most vulnerable people in your community, in your country. But was it really necessary to at the same time criminalize the homeless? Isn't it kind of, of um, an overdue to impose to the most vulnerable people sleeping outside also a uh, a fine of hundreds of euros that they simply don't have. There must be also some consistency in the way that a government is acting, even in Hungary. There are huge problems that we have heard today on media freedom, on NGOs. But I would like to mention that it is, of course, for all member states, problems of different kinds. And we should have a mechanism in place that continuously monitor all member states compliance with fundamental rights and there are actions to be taken w when those are not respected how, how do you foresee should you accept uh, the European Union to have some kind of, of com Copenhagen criteria or a commission to monitor all member states would you be would you would you think that that would be a good idea so that we don't single out only your country but we have we have a mechanism monitoring all member states uh, That's a good one on I which think, to finish. Okay, probably, I Cecilia. think I'm over, overdue, no, but you've done it has well. been you've interesting, done... and I really wish <laughs> your true answer on this. Thank you okay. very much. Thanks, Cecilia. And sorry to get the order wrong.